Hi school teachers of Reddit, what is the one thing that you want your students to know that you'd never tell them in person? Your parents are literally the worst part of my job. 9 stroke 10 times when you have it a student acting. A. Different and you meet their parents for the first time it explains a lot. Often everything. Yes. I put you in a group with the kid you have a crush on intentionally. I'm stuck here with you 180 days a year. I want to see some drama. My food and nutrition teacher started off the semester telling us not to question her seating grouping decisions because at that time she had 5 known adult couples that got married specifically because they met in her class. She showed us pictures of her at their wedding. As far as I know she had a 0% divorce rate with half of the couples being together at least 20 years. I think what you learn in the other classes is mostly useless rubbish. The things you're supposed to do to learn it is boring and ineffective. And the way our schools are organized is archaic and not fit for humans. Much less kids. I'm not saying I liked fights in my classroom. I'm just saying I might have taken a little longer to react when the jerk student bully was finally getting what was long overdue. Also, thank you to my students who would have my back when they'd kindly remind the class that I exist. Hey, yeah you'll know the fuckers shut the frick up. Mister, is trying to teach I had to look a little disappointed, but I appreciate you and I thank you for being my voice. Stop wearing your furry tail. Everyone is uncomfortable. Yes, we have a new seating chart. And yes, I sat you next to her because I can tell you have a crush on her. I noticed you try harder on your work when she is around. And to be honest, you two would make a cute couple. You know that's kind of cute. I am no longer a teacher, but I remember several days that I felt lazy and wanted to give the class the day off. I never did because I knew the teacher's pet would rat me out. Sometimes even the teachers don't like the teacher's pet. Oh okay I first thought every teacher in your country had an actual pet but I eventually figured out you probably were speaking of shoe liquor dude as we call them in French. I'd let you get away with so much more if you were actually a decent person who treated others with kindness and respect. Buttholes rarely get the benefit of doubt or indifference. Absolutely this. Kids would be surprised by how much freedom they could get if they all tried to be nice to each other. If you're nice to me and aren't disruptive I'll always work the numbers in your favor when it comes time to post grades. I teach middle school in Taiwan. My students are 60% ESL. 30% intermediate English proficiency, and 10% native fluency. Only have 42 students so this number is pretty on the money. I want to tell them this, I'm not an idiot. When you are ridiculing me in Chinese, I've picked up phrases and know which ones you're using. Don't act surprised when I give you detention for calling me Benden, Dumbass, or Beichi, idiot. I know what you're saying ugh, Benden. Oh I second TF out of this, I teach in Cambodia. They think I don't know what they're saying when they talk crap to me in Khmer, even though I know exactly what they just said. <laughs> Trying hard is necessary but not sufficient for most accomplishments. Intelligence is necessary but not sufficient for most accomplishments. I can't tell the sweet, hardworking but unintelligent kid he won't be a doctor. I can't tell the smart but lazy butthole he won't be a doctor. Both end up in my remedial class and blame being in remedial class on mean teachers labeling them. I appreciate childhood is the time for dreams but it means people make terrible decisions when they don't understand that we just put them at the highest level we think they can pass. We don't know why they are years behind their peers, just that they are. I try to see potential and inspire kids to try their best, I really do, but there's not a lot I can do if someone is dedicated to hiding their low intelligence by trying to appear as a lazy butthole instead or trying to hide their higher intelligence by pretending to be unintelligent to get easier work. Yelling frick in the hallways doesn't make you a badass. Teachers are yelling frick in their heads all day long. I can see who you have a crush on in the classroom. My philosopher teacher straight up told me, stop flirting with, you're here to work, wasn't taking any balls a day. The weed smell doesn't magically disappear between the parking lot and my classroom. We can smell the weed, seriously, at least wait until after school. Look, obviously I am on reddit all day too or I wouldn't be posting here, but for the love of god can you please pretend to be working so I can go back to being disappointed by reposts. 
If your parents email a teacher and argue with them, the whole staff knows, at least at my school. Yes, and when there is a parent who is particularly awful to a teacher, that teacher will warn all of the kids' future teachers before they even sit in their assigned seat on the first day of school. I just wanna say that I love all of you wonderful, underappreciated and underpaid teachers. Teachers got me through some of the worst times of my childhood and adolescence. Except for you, Mrs. Hansen. Frick you. That we have much better hearing than you assume. We just choose our battles as it pertains to inappropriate comments. And sometimes I pretend not to see that thing you did just because I too found it humorous. And speaking to you about it would only result in me cracking up. It's so funny when they think they're getting away with something but no. It's just near the end of the day and you're too tired to deal with it. If I know your name by the third day of a new school year. That means you're probably in butthole. When you think you are being genius by getting me to talk about random things at the beginning of class instead of teaching. I'm really allowing it to happen bc I don't have enough plan to cover a full class. My favorite high school teacher, he taught history, confessed on the last day of my senior year that he always started class by talking about something completely random because he knew none of us were ready to pay attention right when class was supposed to start. I had no idea. It was a really good strategy that made the transition into the lesson a lot less jarring. Not a teacher but an evening janitor. Part of my area is where the robotics club gathers and works. You guys are so amazing. I wish you could see what I see. A group of kids who are well mixed in ethnicity and gender working hard together. I never see signs of drama when I walk by. When I look through the windows I can see that you guys are listening to each other and treating each other seriously. While also having fun. When you guys leave at night, your room is my favorite room to clean. It's always so clean already and I get to look at your projects and see what all that elbow grease is doing. It's so encouraging to know that these kids are part of our future. They stay an average of 2 hours after school every day and you can tell it's not forced. They are so enthusiastic that their energy practically shines into the hallway. I celebrate every time a new award is added to the trophy cabinet in the hall. I'm a bus driver. Sit the frick down you will die if I crash. Understood. Stands up. You don't need anything I teach you to be successful in life. Math is about learning to think, not graphing functions and solving equations. Below, people assuming I don't know where the math I teach is used. I promise I do. The point I'm making is that we don't care if the general population can solve polynomial equations. We care that they learn to think. I can definitely hear the horrible things you are saying. Yes, I see that you are on the other side of the room. I may be old to you but I am certainly not deaf. Also, that teenage boy is definitely going to buy you a Big Mac in exchange for Dooley. 100 out 100 times. You are right. The administration is completely out of touch when it comes to technology. I also work better while listening to music on my phone. That my students are the reason why I am second guessing having my own kids. My students are the reason I don't have kids. I teach middle school, not high school, but for me, it's that I know crap sucks at home. I see it every day when you come into my class. I see the tears you're hiding, the pain behind that class clown smile, the emotional fragility behind your tough guy persona. I know exactly what it's like to come from a broken home. I wish I could do something. But until you come to me, all I can do is try and let you know, with a look, a smile, a subtle turn of phrase, that I'm always there for you when you need an ear, or a shoulder. Please stop dueling in the classrooms that's what the bathrooms are for. Recently my school put detectors in the restrooms, but some kid in one of my classes still needed his nicotine fix. So he ripped a fat one with his face in his backpack and said the smoke was his laptop malfunctioning. That it's just as weird for me as it is for you when we bump into each other in public. I saw my English teacher at the grocery store one. We made eye contact and I nodded. He nodded back. We kept walking. Said nothing about it the next day. Never brought it up. That's proper procedure. Right now my students are up in our mobile. Class was supposed to start at noon. My co-teachers and I are down in the classroom. They're thinking if no one goes down there to get them, we won't have to do any work. We're thinking let's see if anyone comes down here to grab us. 
social experiment. If not, we don't have to do anything. The events that happen when the day should have been a snow day. If I didn't think you would abuse the situation, I would really enjoy being more human and casual around you. I think you are a fun person to be around. This one hits home. I was close with a couple teachers through high school, and would even put an extra effort in those classes. But when the teacher would get to a comfortable level around us, it was easier to forget that they got there because of the effort I put in, and it isn't an excuse to stop trying cause they like you. You're unique. You're not special. Set your goals high but understand that if you change your goals to needs, you will have a lifetime of disappointment. I would honestly tell my little kindergartners that life is tough, I love you, many of you can't count on your parents at all, you're poor and have to work harder, I need you to understand how important your education is for having a better life, but I'm a male teacher in early childhood, distance is very important, and can't afford to have a parent go all mama bear on me, so I just do my best to make them feel valued in my class. The odds of you using any specific piece of knowledge you learn in high school is slim. The odds of you using some piece of knowledge from high school is near absolute and you have no idea what it's going to be or when it will happen. So you may as well try it all of it. The biggest thing you're going to learn is how to learn. To my freshman, yes I always know when you didn't do my math because you stayed up late playing Fortnite. You added me as a friend on Epic so I see that. Also the amount of homework not done in lower grades when new battle passes come out is so coincidental. To a specific freshman, I support your desire to become a streamer, but editing videos should not keep you away from your homework for a whole week and your friends always rat you out when you stay home skip to make edit those videos. It to all the high schoolers I teach, you're dumb, but I do love you guys. I'm not stupid and while I know you cheat on your homework, I don't care since it's only worth 10% of your grade and you're foregoing the practice you can get before the test. To the 6th graders I teach math too. Dear lord you make me cringe so hard I have to take ibuprofen some days. I have so much more, but my lunch break is almost over. HS band director here. I know you didn't touch your horn over the weekend. If you did, you wouldn't sound like rotten cat butthole. The reason you ride on boy buses and girl buses is because I don't want band parents in my band. I was in high school before you and I know exactly what happens on bus rides. In my 11 year career, the only names that I truly remember are the insanely talented kids and the students who were completely inept. Lastly, this job is so intensely stressful I think I might be taking years off my life. But if I loosen up my standards your band experience will be unmemorable. Your sense of entitlement is most likely acquired from your upbringing. So parent-teacher conferences to discuss your grades aren't going to do crap when the parents just blame us. Despite you putting in little to zero effort. My gamer tag. I usually say there's a policy against it but there isn't. I just don't wanna play Overwatch or whatever with a bunch of relatively good kids who turn into total monsters when they play video games. If I tell the cool ones, it'll get around. Don't do it. It's like when a kid finds out a teacher's cell phone number somehow, then the whole school calls. I don't care that you came to class stoned. Just stop interrupting class, and for god's sake, don't touch any power tools while you're stoned. I knew a guy that would come into first period stoned. He would always complete his work extremely fast, and accurately too. Then he would just stare at his paper or whatever when he's done. Basically a genius when stoned. You're not going to be YouTube famous sit the frick down and listen. A lot of us probably drink, smoke, sleep around, etc more than you do. And hearing you talking about it and trying to hide it as if it's something we wouldn't know about is richly ironic. Or worse, boast about it like it's something we would never understand. You've been visited by the good policy grandpa. You will be blessed with good economics and healthcare but only if you comment sleep well burner. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check out another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.